Coming up, we take a look at the latest updates to hybrid compute using the power of Microsoft's Azure Cloud on-premises with Azure Stack. We'll look at how to run hybrid apps and process data between Azure Stack in your data center and in the Azure Public Cloud to meet your regulatory and policy requirements, and importantly, how you can use Azure Stack as a powerful control plane for disconnected scenarios to harness insights from your IoT devices running on the edge. So I'm joined today by Natalia, who leads the engineering team for Azure Stack and is no stranger to the show. Welcome back. Good to be back, Matt. So for those people watching who might be new to Azure Stack, before we get too deep into some of the ways you can now use Azure Stack, can you explain what it is and just what it solves for? Yeah, so if you're not familiar with Azure Stack, it's an extension of Azure. Azure Stack is a fully optimized and purpose-built integrated system that runs Azure services in your data center. Even better, Azure Stack works whether you're connected to the internet or entirely disconnected. Azure Stack includes IaaS services, such as VMs and Azure Blob Storage, and PaaS services, such as serverless compute, containers, and web apps. Now, we've invested heavily in Azure Stack's foundation to continually bring you Azure services on-premises. You can use the Azure Marketplace to provide fully functional solutions from both Microsoft and our ISV partners. In addition, you can build your own solution using Azure Resource Manager templates. Both create a consistent and repeatable process for your app and compute needs. Now, all of this is managed by you. You control the data and the people who have access to Azure Stack. Even Microsoft can't access these resources without your authorization. OK, so how do people acquire the Azure Stack? Now, these integrated systems are built by several of our hardware partners, including Cisco, HPE, Dell EMC, Lenovo, Huawei, Fujitsu, and Wertman. And in addition to Azure Stack, you can also use Databox Edge, a device that complements Azure Stack with specialized AI inference and data tiering. Azure Stack and Databox Edge work together to bring you the power of Azure in your data center. Now, you mentioned consistency, and this is a huge part of the appeal here, especially for developers, as the portal and the APIs are all consistent across Azure Stack and the Azure Public Cloud. Right, Matt. Our most important objective is to present a unified experience across Azure and Azure Stack. This ranges from an identical portal all the way to the common DevOps model that I showed you last time I was on the show. You can develop and manage applications that run across Azure and Azure Stack without changing a single line of code. And that means you can leverage the same investment in dev skills, processes, and your applications. So why would you use Azure Stack? Well, Azure Stack helps meet unique requirements, including compliance and data sovereignty requirements. Some customers have corporate regulations but still want to take advantage of Azure's benefits. Now, for example, EY has an auditing app that runs the same code both regionally on Azure Stack for compliance reasons and then globally on Azure. Airbus uses Azure Stack to operate in disconnected environments and meet data sovereignty requirements, transforming how they develop software. Now, one of my favorite aspects of Airbus's implementations is they use Azure Stack for IoT, machine learning, and big data analytics, providing the value-added services to their customers with specific needs. That's awesome. I didn't realize that IoT services could actually be run in a disconnected scenario. Actually, with Azure Stack, now you can run IoT services in a disconnected scenario. We have Azure's IoT Hub service running on private preview in Azure Stack. So IoT scenarios tend to rely on internet-connected applications. However, there are times you cannot run IoT applications on the public internet. But you still need to manage and collect data from IoT devices. Azure Stack and Databox Edge are key components to enabling these disconnected scenarios. So here we have IoT devices collecting data. You can use Azure Sphere-based devices for security at the silicon level, or use your own specialized devices. Databox Edge handles data caching and specialized compute, while device management is done through IoT Hub on Azure Stack. All right, so what type of use cases have you seen? We've seen Azure Stack and Databox Edge running in ocean liners or even trucks for emergency response, allowing those customers to take advantage of Azure capabilities without an internet connection. Now, that said, you can augment all of this with Azure in the public cloud for additional capabilities and global reach. So in this example, I have a shipping company called Northwind Traders, whose container ships don't have consistent high bandwidth connections to the internet. Now, connectivity at sea can be expensive, and there are latency issues. We still want to be able to monitor and manage operations in real time, so we run some operations locally on Azure Stack within each ship. Now, these systems track several data points and take corrective actions based on application logic running on Azure Stack. 
Now let's take a look at the actual solution. Here you can see a map with a fleet level view in a regulated region using the Azure Cloud for Northman's global operations. If I click into a ship, I can see things we're tracking, like fuel flow and speed. In the Azure portal, you can see the central operations application uses several different services to receive millions of transactions from each of the ships. You can see the data lake store, event hubs, analytics, and web applications. Here's the web application that monitors Northwind's ships at sea. If we go to Azure Stack running on one of the ships, you can see that the portal looks the same as the Azure portal. Here we're running a local version of the ship monitoring application. I can parse the sensor data in real time using the serverless capabilities of Azure Functions. I even have IoT up running on the ship to manage devices and data. This graph shows filtering of the data before it's sent to the public cloud. The amount of egress data going over the uplink is far less than the ingress data from sensors. We can suspend uploads until connectivity is reliable. OK, so you're processing data locally in Azure Stack and then presumably aggregating in Azure for further analytics. Now, you could transfer the bulk of that data when the ships at port when connectivity is cheaper and faster. That's right. We give you the platform to design, develop, and operate your hybrid apps across Azure and Azure Stack while still maintaining real-time processing in disconnected scenarios. Now, that's a pretty specialized scenario, but what about situations where you're required, sometimes by law, to keep data locally in, and also integrate with legacy apps and infrastructure in your environment? Let me walk you through a more common example with healthcare, and at the same time, introduce you the tech that you can use as part of the broader Azure platform along the way. We have a network of hospitals and clinics that needs to manage the inventory of supplies, vaccines across the region. They've done this manually in the past. To increase efficiency, they've implemented an electronic inventory management system. For example, during flu season, vaccines need to be reallocated across the region to meet demand. We also need to make sure that the vaccines are stored at the correct temperature and light levels to prevent waste. We created an application that uses purpose-built vaccine storage sensors and cameras to assess inventory and monitor environmental conditions. We understand that healthcare industries needs which is why we built Azure to be HIPAA compliant. However, their corporate requirements state that the data must remain on premises. Therefore, sensor data is stored and filtered by a data box edge in each clinic. Insights are generated and devices are managed using a regional stack with IoT Hub. The application uses AI models to predict vaccine demand and serverless functions to communicate with the electronic medical record systems. Anonymized, compliant data is transmitted to Azure for large-scale analysis. Right, and of course, given the criticality of this scenario, the, the system needs to function even if network connectivity is cut, so due to a natural disaster or if the phone company accidentally digs up underground cables nearby. Can we see it in action? Absolutely. As we mentioned, in each clinic, we're running DataBox Edge, which can assess inventory based on machine learning models running locally. Now, on the left here, I have several images captured from cameras in our clinic, which are uploaded to network share hosted by DataBox Edge. DataBox Edge would normally analyze these images as they arrive. For this demo, I'm going to trigger the process manually. Once this process finishes, on the right side, you'll see scored images. Locations with lower missing inventory are highlighted. Now let's look at one of the images. You can see that some vaccines have need to be restocked. Now the inferencing results feed into our inventory management applications. Here, I can see the temperature might be a little high for this particular supply cabinet. In addition to monitoring shelf life, the system also builds an action plan to better utilize resources. As we can see here, there is an action plan for Northwest Clinic to move surplus vaccines to other locations in need of supply. The upper left region is red and low on vaccines, so I'm going to move vaccines from areas that have a surplus. Let me confirm this work order. Here I can see other events related to this work order. And I can even see that the new vaccine allocations have been logged to the electronic medical record system. Right, so what's going on behind the scenes to make this scenario possible? Well, as we said, the whole app is running an Azure Stack to meet corporate regulatory requirements and benefit from local real-time processing. We use IoT Hub to monitor and manage the devices all over the region. DataBox Edge pushes the anonymized data from every clinic for aggregation in Azure Stack. So Azure Stack becomes your control plane, even in disconnected scenarios, allowing you to monitor and run workloads in real time. Natalia, thank you for the awesome overview of the power of using the Azure platform with Azure Stack and Databox Edge for hybrid and disconnected scenarios. How can folks watching learn more? 
Well, you can get started with Azure Stack by deploying the dev kit at the link shown. Also, if you haven't already, you can experiment with our unified development environment using Azure DevOps. Databox Edge is in preview, and you can try it for yourself at the link shown. And of course, keep watching Microsoft Mechanics for the latest tech updates. Thanks for watching.